Good evening, live from this news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television. Here we present to you tonight's news bulletin. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos greets His Highness the Emir of Qatar on the occasion of his country's national day. Upon royal directives of His the Majesty Sultan Qaboos, Supreme Commander, the shooting teams of Sultan's armed forces and the national teams are honored. The State Financial and Administrative Audit Institution forwards to His Majesty the Sultan the annual report on the institution's results for the year 2017. The activities of the Omani Poetry Festival kicks off in the Governorate of Musandam. Thank you for joining us. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qabu sends a cabal of greetings to His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of Qatar, on the occasion of his country's national day. Meanwhile, His Majesty the Sultan sends a similar cabal to His Excellency Mohamedou Isofu, President of Niger, on the occasion of his country's national day. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, gave royal directives to honor the members of the Sultan's Armed Forces Shooting Team and National Shooting Team and Military Sports Teams who represented the Sultanate in a number of regional and international events this year. The honoring comes in recognition of good results and honorable achievements that Sultan's Armed Forces Shooting Team and shooting members of the National Team accomplished in the regional and international shooting competitions. On this special occasion, His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Saud bin Harb al Busaidi, Minister responsible for Defense Affairs, handed over the royal grant to the shooters. The honoring will encourage the members of the national shooting teams to exert more efforts in the upcoming competitions. The State Financial and Administrative Audit Institutions, SFAAI, has forwarded its annual report to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said, which includes the institution's results for the year 2017, its aims uh, and activation of scope of responsibilities. The institution has also sent copies of the audit report to the Council of Ministers, Insurer and State Councils as per the basic law of the state and the institution law in which the SFAAI prepare it as an annual report with its results and should be forwarded directly to His Majesty the Sultan by the head of the SFAAI and send copies to the Council of Ministers and Shura and State Councils before the end of the next fiscal year. The report includes uh, so many phenomena and observations that resulted from the implementation and extensions of the SFAAI system on the 2018 check up for or 218 up for the units of the administrative apparatus of the state and some companies and public institutions uh, controlled by the SFAAI which came under their supervision financial compliance performance and management controls the most important positive phenomena monitored by SFAAI during the checkup and follow up on some administrative apparatus you units resulted in the reduction of actual budget deficit and public expenditure during 2017 compared to 2016 by 29% and 5% respectively. Besides the completion of a number of strategic projects which will contribute in pushing forward the economic and social development approaches in the country, such as opening of Mustard International Airport and Salala Airport, as well as Al Batuna Expressway, and the Sultanas achieving progress in the Global Competitiveness Report 2018 by 14 places from the previous year, which is considered the highest globally. The SFAAI recently concluded the Sultanus implementation review of the second cycle for Chapter 2, Preventive Measures and Five Assets Recovery, the National Integrity and Anti-Corruption Strategy and the Draft Code of Conduct for Public Employees have also been drafted by SFAAI. 
joint cooperation aspects between the Sultanate and the United States of America and preserving heritage and culture topped discussions His Highness Sayyid Haytham bin Tariq Al Said had with His Excellency Mark G. Severis, U.S. Ambassador accredited to the Sultanate. During the meeting, the two sides discussed cooperation spheres between national archives departments in order to preserve historical relations binding the two countries. His Highness, the Minister of Heritage and Culture, also received His Excellency Fidraika Raffier, Ambassador of Italy, accredited to the Sultanate. During the meeting, they discussed means of joint cooperation between the two friendly countries. The Board of Directors of Pension Fund of the Minister of Defence got acquainted with the investments performance of the fund during the last period. The Board, during its second meeting of this year, approved the external auditor report of the accounts of the pension fund and its financial statements. It also reviewed the real estate investments in the fund and work progress of the current and future real estate projects. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Saud bin Harab al Busaidi, Minister Responsible for Defence Affairs, Chairman of Board of Directors of the Fund. His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamad al Busaidi, Secretary General of the Foreign Ministry, reviewed in Beijing good relations between the Sultanate and China with Ning Jiang, Vice Chairman of the National Development and Reform Commission NDRC of the People's Republic of China. The meeting also exchanged points of view in the mechanisms of uplifting economic, commercial, and financial relations between the Sultanate and China. NDRC of China is supervising the Chinese investments in the Special Economic Zone Authority in Dukum Sizad. Climate changes and their effects on coastlines topped discussions of the International Symposium on Environmental Measures for Coastlines and their role in coast protection. The seminar that is organized by Oman National Commission for Education, Culture and Science witnessed a wide participation of experts and specialists from inside and outside the Sultanate. The seminar highlighted various environmental topics and their effects on marine environment. Their participations in the this event called for the collaborations of efforts to put framework of environmental measures in order to protect marine life. The participants also discussed threats and challenges facing maritime environment and the suggested solutions to overcome these challenges. During the event, Oman National Commission for Education, Culture and Science reviewed its national experiences in coast protections in light of the urbanization in the coastal areas and other touristic and industrial activities in these areas. The event was presided over by His Excellency Mohammed bin Salim Tobi, Minister of Environment and Climate Affairs. A workshop was held in the Governorate of Muscat uh, on the role of communication sector in the fourth industrial revolution. During the workshop, it was revealed that the Sultanate is ready for the fourth industrial revolution within the framework of availability of infrastructure in communication sector, such as the possession of 13 undersea optic fiber cables. The workshop also revealed the number of uh, graduates in the Sultanate specialized in information technology and communications uh, represent 20 3%. The workshop was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Futaisi, Minister of Transport and Communications. Oman Forum revealed financing of more than 480 entrepreneurs uh, through the INMA Fund. During the forum sessions, a number of work papers were discussed on enhancing competitive abilities uh, for small and medium sized enterprises. The sixth version of the forum, organized by the Alam Al Iqtisad Wal Amal magazine, in cooperation with the Public Authority for SMEs Development Riyada. The forum discussed a number of themes related to enhancing SMEs, developing national human resources, and providing effective solutions for the challenges facing these sectors. A seminar on managing and attracting SMEs efficiency was held on the sidelines of the forum. A number of speakers from the organization operating SMEs and human resources development alongside with the experts and specialists from the public and private sectors took part in the forum. You're watching the South on the Top of Man television and yet to come in our news bulletin.
The Awareness Media and Public Relations Forum is held in the Governorate of Moscow. Welcome back uh, to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The government contract uh, or contact center held its ninth round of meeting with the media departments in the government units. During the meeting, a number of work papers were presented that shed light on the statistics and facts as well as surveys that revealed that the number of those using the internet of the disabled category reached 14%. The participants in the workshop also discussed about the large number of non-Arabic speaking residents that are in need of the government media content. The meeting was held under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Abdul Munim bin Mansour al Hassani, Minister of Information. Means and mechanisms of developing media and awareness work in municipality and water sectors at the Sultanus level were discussed in the Awareness Media and Public Relations Forum, which organized by the Minister of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources. 150 of workers in awareness and media fields from various governments of the Sultanate attended. The forum discussed 11 work papers focused on the media identity and the digital content. The events of the forum were presided over by His Excellency Nasser. Sir bin Suleiman Asibani, Deputy Chairman of the Public Authority for Radio and Television. The Minister of Higher Education held a meeting with chair persons and deans of private higher education institutions in the Sultanate. The meeting discussed means of uh, limiting challenges in higher education sector in addition to enhance cooperation between government and private educational institutions in order to develop higher education system in the Sultanate. The meeting also reviewed the importance of enhancing international relations with other educational institutions all over the world and attracting international students through providing suitable education environment. The meeting also called for educational institutions to pay attention to innovations foundation stone in all their strategic plans and future visions. At the line of the meeting, educational institutions which won institutional accreditations were honored. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed Al Sarmi and the Secretary of the Ministry of Higher Education. A number of military attaches and their families in the brotherly and friendly countries' embassies in the Sultanate paid a visit to the Governorate of Musandam. Uh, during the visit, they got acquainted with the cultural and civilizational aspects of the Governorate as well as its natural beauty and landmarks of the Blaise Renaissance. It's worth mentioning that the Sultan's armed forces worked on making these visits successful and provide all means necessary for comfort of the guests of the Sultanate, including transportations and administrative facilities. The 11th uh, Omani Poetry Festival, organized by the Minister of Heritage and Culture, started under the auspices of His Excellency Ahmed bin Abdullah bin Mohammed al Shihi, Minister of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources, in the presence of some of the Highnesses, Their Excellencies, the Honorable Members, and members of the Shura and State Councils, Poets, and Participants, which last up to December 20th. The event included a speech by His Excellency Sayyid Saeed bin Sultan al Busaidi, director of the festival at which they pointed, or he pointed out that the 11th version of the Omani Poetry Festival comes at a time the festival has integrated its position at the Omani cultural scene. And now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over the most of the governorates with chances of clouds over the coast of the Arabian seas. Winds will be northeasterly to Israel light to moderate. Seas will be slight to moderate with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. More details on your screen.
This is the South Alert of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos greets His Highness the Emir of Qatar on the occasion of his country's National Day. Upon royal directives of His Majesty the Sultan, members of the shooting teams of Sultan's armed forces and the national team are honored. The state financial and administrative audit institutions forwards to His Majesty the Sultan the annual report on the institution's results for the year 2017. And the activities of the Omani Poetry Festival kicks off in the governorate of Musandam. And with that, we do conclude this news bulletin brought to you live from this news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television. From the entire news team and myself, we do thank you for joining us and good night.